Hey, hi, and hello. Today I have a review for two stamped cross stitch kits from VIP Cross Stitch. <laughs> Okay, before I get into this, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about VIP Cross Stitch. They are a mostly cross stitch exclusive store. They have sections for new arrivals, their best sellers. You can choose between categories, brands, as well as the stitch counts, and they even have certain ones with silk and a section for DIY crafts as well as crochet and knitting. Right now, some of the deals they have are get four for the price of three, get 10 for the price of eight, or get 15 for the price of 12. Free shipping for orders with 50 plus dollars. And I'm also seeing a 8% coupon and it looks like you just have to clip it. Let me see what that does. Yep, it just, you just clip it and it automatically gives you a discount, but I also have my own discount if you want to let them know that you value my videos. Um, they do see when you use my specific discount codes and that will be in the description box down below along with all the links to their shop and each kit I show you today. Alright, so this first kit is Yishu and it is 11 count. It is 60 by 40 centimeters. I'll pop a photo on screen now. And this adorable lovely kit costs $11.57 and I chose the iris one. There are a few different ones in this listing. It comes with your standard tool kit, which is a needle threader for smaller and larger needle sizes. Five needles held in the bag neatly by a pom-pom and an adjustable thimble ring. And this bag has a little cartoon dolphin on it, which is super adorable. So I do have another picture right here on the front. And I just think this is so vibrant and gorgeous. I absolutely had to get this. And they do have instructions right here for you. In case you are new to cross stitch, they show you how to separate your strands and how many you need for each count, how to choose your color and read the pattern, and then how to wash it as well. And they even show you down here some of the stitches you might come across, but these 11 counts tend to be just a regular cross stitch with full cross. This kit looks like it has 38 colors, which is really nice. And it is on tear proof paper. Both of these kits today that I'm showing you are coming on this tear proof paper, which just sort of helps you prevent yourself from accidentally ruining your pattern. But do keep in mind, this pattern can also get damaged very easily by water, just as the fabric canvas and printing can get ruined by water. So do be careful. Now, I know it's printed this way, but I believe the pattern and image go this way. And there, there's quite a bit of not confetti, but I'm going to call it confetti color blocking and then some confetti type mishap going over here, but that's okay. I've been getting way too many color blocked kits lately, and I really do think these flowers will benefit greatly from the more detailed and color blocking and mixed with the confetti. There we go. I got it out. <laughs> this canvas is a very nice size, very easy to read. No smudging, no smears. Printed so clean you can even see the white lines between each of the symbols. And let me stir the symbols. And I'm not seeing any symbols at all that could be confused with other ones. Uh, potentially this dark blue 
and this light blue, but I really don't think so, yeah, because they're right here next to each other and they're pretty distinct. The fabric canvas is going to match this exactly. It's quite literally the same image, only this time instead of printed on paper, it is printed on fabric or Ada. Let me get this Ada out of the way. Let me get this Ada out of the way to. <laughs> Okay, so again, this does feel like the old school Ada we were getting maybe a year ago. It is a bit crunkled. I think maybe it was just packaged a little wet after being printed and, you know, just got misshapen in the packaging. Uh, I don't... Maybe dry ironing on a very low temp would help, but I wouldn't recommend a steam iron if you need to flatten this beforehand. If I'm being fully honest, I will probably just end up putting this in my scroll and pulling that tight so it isn't an issue and I don't risk damaging the canvas before I'm able to wash it out. You can see it is surged. And the printing isn't super bright and saturated, which I know some people like because bright colors tend to be overstimulating or a bit harsh on your eyes. And thankfully I can still tell apart that darker blue from the lighter blue and everything is still very easy to read. And they're all in their own squares. Now this kind of Ada I noticed tends to soften way more easily even though it tends to feel scratchier when you first get it it does soften very nicely and very quickly once you start working on it okay let's get into those colors this is a yishu kit so unsurprisingly they came in floss drops and they did remember the band again which is good they've been doing very well at remembering to put the bands on and before i start flipping through these let me just show you all of the colors together because these are stinking gorgeous. I love these colors together. They're so pretty. Oh, I just love my flower kits. I really need to finish some of my other starts so I can start new ones. All right, let me just flip through these real quick for you. Some 939. Quite a bit of purples. This is a cute color. Oops, sorry, hit the camera there. Some nice bright blues. Some yellow greens. I think this is going to come out gorgeous. I absolutely love these colors and they do seem fairly accurate to the image, at least to me. So I just know this is going to be absolutely beautiful when it's done. I really want to do this one soon. Right, if you needed a reminder, this kit is $11.57. Super cute. And the floss is also very soft. I, I love it. I could sleep in a bed of just this floss. All right, let me pick up and I will bring out kit number two. Okay, so this toolkit has a number on it instead of a little animal or plant. So this is the second kit they sent me for review. Um, I will put a photo of this on screen now. This one is also Yishu and it is an 11 count and it is 40 by 80 centimeters. And this kit cost $15 and 59 cents. And I thought this was super adorable. If you've seen some of my diamond painting reviews from Timu lately, I have another diamond painting that's kind of similar to this like blocky um, Asian type art style and anime style. So I really wanted this because I wanted a cross stitch version 
version, even if it's not exactly the same. It's similar, and so I, I knew I'd like it. <laughs> Again, they do have a large photo of the instructions in case you need it. I'm just going to create a crease here. So this is a fairly tall pattern, as you can see, um, where it's mostly blues and blacks and whites. There are only 28 colors, but I really don't think it needs so many colors. Definitely a lot of color blocking. I'm assuming number five is 939 or black. Yep, black, it's 310. 22 is 939, yep. So they do have the variations of the darkness levels and the tones which is lovely you can see her face i don't think she has a mouth in the digital image much either this is a pretty simplistic kind of um it's giving geometric vibes but i think this is so adorable the pattern is a readable size not the largest grading but it's still printed clear with no smudges super easy to read Definitely some confetti in some spots, but I think that is kind of needed. And this is tearproof paper again. I think she's going to be adorable. Or I know she's going to be adorable. Alright, let's get that canvas out. Oh, goodness. This canvas is so saturated, the image on here doesn't even want to show up properly. So this one is feeling like the newer th or thicker Ada. Again, I'm not sure what's going on with these two different Adas coming from Yishu, but I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. But this one is firmer and stays firmer longer than the previous one. And this one has the surging So you can tell how saturated this is right away. And there's like the tiniest bit of bleeding from the printing, but not a lot. So I think we're still going to be all good on reading this one. And I really do love the dimensions of this. I know, I want to say a month or two ago, I had brought up how I've been trying to find kits with really long or tall dimensions just because I want something a little different and this is a perfect example of that because look how tall this bad boy is tall 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 so tall and also I've noticed so the older fabric the one that gets softer more quickly it doesn't have the warm prompt at the bottom but they're both labeled as Yishu and this one is 147 by 320 stitches. And I'm gonna take a sneaky peek at the symbols and see if we have anything that might be of issue. There's only twi Twix, <laughs> 26 colors, so I doubt that. Yes, I'm not seeing anything that looks like it could be mistaken for any other symbol, which is perfect. All right, a pretty distinct color palette here. They are Yishu, so it does come on floss drops yet again, which I do really like floss drops, if I'm fully honest with you. I I love the aesthetic <laughs> of it, if that makes sense. And I also just like the convenience of being able to pull one off and put it on a ring instead of lugging around all of the floss every time I want to stitch on something. It just helps me prevent the rest of the floss from getting dirty, from flopping around when I'm not planning to use it. So here's the color palette together. It definitely suits the image. I'm seeing some really cute purples, lavenders, and periwinkles in here, as well as the grays and blues. I really want to start this one. I just started several others, but I might start another one tonight. We'll see, we'll see. All right, let me flip through these for you. 939 right on top. It's like a very faint pink. There's 
There's our 310. Lots of that in here. And then an extra. <laughs> oh, two extra. And then some nice, cute little purples. Uh, more pink. And then some more whitish colors. Lots of that as well. So these colors definitely do fit the color palette. I really do like the theme. I know I've mentioned that sometimes themes are good, but other times very bright and vibrant images are better. It really just depends on your mood, which is why I like to have such a variety of sizes and colors and um, even themes in my kits. Hence the flowers and then some cutesy kawaii thing, which, you know, tends to be my go-to, but I, I love nature and I, I love cartoony anime girls. They are just so adorable. All right, I will pick this up and I will be right back. And those were my two kits from VIP Cross Stitch. VIP Cross Stitch does have very good prices, by the way. I like to compare the price of certain kits if I've seen it on multiple other sites. And I tend to go back to VIP Cross Stitch more often than not. So definitely give them a look. They have so many different options. And with the Chinese New Year being over, they are adding new stuff, what feels like every day. So definitely give it a look because you will find something you like. And let me tell you, and this is probably the most expensive one I chose, $15 is like next to nothing when you get months of something to do and enjoyment. So, you know, you know what to do. Click the link, just scroll. Maybe you're laying in bed a little bit, a little bit tired, but a little bit too awake to sleep. Just scroll their website, sign up, make a profile, add a bunch of stuff to your favorites. You don't have to buy, just look. That's, that's how I put myself to bed at night and that's what makes me happy. Thank you so much to VIP Cross Stitch for sending me these two gorgeous kits. I love these so much. They are so cute and I'm so excited to start them. Again, links are in the description box down below as well as a discount code for you all. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Have you ever tried VIP Cross Stitch before? And give the video a like to show me some support and some love because we are all crafty friends here. And thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.